back to 30 day in the Bulgarian The temperature has just risen a degree or two in the pressure cooker in which England will always fly. Now Southgate's team lost three games in a row, just last year. Progressive football really follows a spoon up the curve. And England will kick off this evening under a little more scrutiny than they did this time on Friday. You're alive, James. Am I? You are. 18 people on the stream. That's a lot of people. There's no one in the fucking chair. In uh, your chair? On YouTube. No one in the chair. Well, you can't see me. Can't see me? It's live, mate. John Smythe, Chris Tellers, and Loco Lord. He says, Wake up, James. Aye, aye. Oh, I'm here, I'm seen. Aye, aye. I'm here, I'm seen. So the live stream is going to be behind the actual game. There yeah, you go. You might want to pause like three seconds or so on the telly. Keep up the stream. We are, yeah, we are underway seconds. in Sofia. I've always wanted to be underway in Sofia. How are we all? What's happening, YouTube? England in red. It's never quite the same, is it? Uh, I don't know. I find it quite. Uh... Here we go. Harry and right, red just don't look right. I've got the live stream up in front of me now. So if you're chatting away in the chat, we can join in. Shit, there's a lot of people talking. Whoa, like, type slowly, peeps. Go, 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 Sid. Go, bring it. We can see you. You should hide your sign about, or people will turn up and want to talk about FPL. What sign is that? I don't know. Not today. <laughs> uh, John Bailey, yo, yo, yo. Jake Klein, better wait than never. What's the SMH? Shake Shakes my head. Oh, thank you. Okay, shake my head. Evening, evening to Elite FPL, Steve-O. Scott, Tom Cox. What day dog do you have recording so many Day pods? dog? Day job. See this carrier bag shop. We sell carrier bags for a living. Would you believe it if we told you we sell carrier bags for a living? Go to www.carrierbagshop.co.uk. We should set up a Planet FPL discount code. I can't code. believe what you put up as a profile photo is 26. Well, you were busy doing something. <laughs> um, where's Toomey? Toomey, is this interesting enough from a beer point of view for me? You'd know if he's on there or not, wouldn't you? Uh, there are 24 people watching with us. So, how is Rashford getting a game? I don't think Rashford's as bad as everyone makes out, man. He's got a bit of pace and he's got a good finish. On a serious, Jaden Sancho was very quiet Friday night um, and underwhelmed, in my opinion. Yeah, you can't judge a footballer um, on one game. Everybody the, has a bad out, game. Out of the three, Sterling is obviously going to be first choice. No TAA again. Yeah, yeah, Klopp, that's weird. Klopp's probably had a word with him and just said, look, if you don't need to play him, don't play him. Oh, we've got a footballer in the middle of the pitch. There. It's Harry Winks. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure on. on the a pod or two, two ago, you said that Harry Kane was the best crosser at Tottenham. That was not a fucking best crosser. Was it Kane that tried to cross it? Yeah. Wasn't it Barkley? I thought he just said Kane. Nah, I thought he just said Kane crossed it. Maybe he did. Look at Winksy on the ball already. Look what he does. Turns into people. That's a red Ooh. card. No lie. He's, he's played advantage. You can't send him off now. No, he can put it can't. back. Yeah, if, if you're going to send someone off, you have to send them off immediately, mate. Can't play advantage. Ouch. He completely lost control. Oh, it's That's Henderson. Uh, I thought it was Barkley. Oh, no, he pulls out of it. Pro, you're a man in the house. Where's the joint? We're watching, drinking beer, watching the game. Where are you, mate? We're at work. I bought some uh, Czech beer to honour our Okay, our Jamie wants us to... Friday night. Jamie wants to... Uh, um, get the TV synced. So... I'm going to read out the seconds, 33 minutes, 30, 40, 41, 41 42, 43. 43. Why are you jumping in on this? I was doing it myself. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 
You have to nod your head when you do seconds. Okay. There we go. Isn't there a delay on YouTube? Yeah, it's a double delay, but at least our fans are on the same time as us. But you can have a look at some of these questions. Okay, let's have a look. I was going to go and get uh, some popcorn. Uh, okay. Tom Cox, what score do you reckon? Three New England? Yeah, I'd say that's probably about right, Tom. Uh, Jamie Roberts, let us know what minute you're on. And oh, we did that bit, I guess. Jake Klein, if Winks gets injured. Yeah, I quite agree, mate. Um, not that he's been fucking putting up too many trees for Spurs, but the thing with Winks is, and it's not a criticism of Declan Rice, We've seen it already in a couple of the early minutes here how it's the way in games like this against weaker opposition and to be honest when we play better quality in the tournament next year that he can receive the ball on the half term and move and pass the ball. Winksy's biggest weakness, I've mentioned this on Tottenham the other week, is um, he doesn't have that final pass to really pass in between the lines and hurt people. But um, in terms of, of dictating, keeping England at a high tempo, He's far more better. So he's, he, him and Rice are completely different footballers. It's not a Tottenham West Ham thing. Um, Rice will show up better for England, in my opinion, against better opposition when we need to someone to sit there. And I think also West Ham have changed formation this year to more of a 4-1-4-1, which he hasn't played in either of the games for England. So that's not helped. It, just small things like that, like playing as a single and then playing as a double pivot with Henderson, then they played with a three in the second half Friday night. Doesn't help. So maybe we'll, we'll see that again. I think 4-1, four, 4-1 one, four, one is, is probably a bit break for England, if I'm honest. Um, Andrew Martin, evening, guys. Good poll pod tonight. Thanks, Andrew. Um, yeah, we did a pod on uh, Abraham and Wilson earlier and other people valued uh, kind of in between seven and eight million. There's some great picks in now. We mentioned Pookie and Jimenez as well. I think Alea is one that's getting really forgotten at the moment. And they've got a decent run of fixtures, West Ham. Way to Everton, who find themselves bottom three at the moment. And then uh, it's Newcastle and Sheffield United at home. So they've got a good run. It feels like you've got to be, from an FPL perspective, you've got to have at least one of those five. I think that's becoming a must. And I don't suppose this... Go, Marcus Rashford! Who said he wasn't impressing? <laughs> it's a goal who got the assist I didn't see that yeah we was one new up at this stage Friday so I won't get carried away I do want to talk about the meaningless of this when Suj is back I don't know where the fuck he's gone the Barkley assist I mean, your, your centre off there's completely sold himself. I'm not sure the goalkeeper should be getting beat there either. No, he really shouldn't. Hits it really well. Um, it's good for Rashford because he's, he's not had a, a great start to the season. I don't think with Rashford that he really, or even his coaches, particularly know yet what he is. Is he a number nine? Is he, a, is he a winger? I don't think people really know yet. I like him in that position off the left, but I'd like him to have, when he plays there, um, he doesn't make the damaging runs like Sterling does. A little bit like that one there is a little bit better. Trying to, what he often wants to do is he wants to sit there and receive the ball and then go at people. I'd like to see him make that run a little bit more where he's looking to get in behind. Sterling's perfected it. He's got to know that his greatest weapon is his pace. Um, so when he gets away from you, he'll get away. Uh, right, comments. Uh, Jake Klein, Robertson worth getting in or H? I don't know who H is, um, and this is not a podcast about Scotland. Uh, uh, John Smythe, Bulgaria look like Ireland away in that kit. Not with the Red Sox. Andrew might get Lewis cooking. I yeah, thought you might say that, Andrew. Uh, he's been unfortunate with injuries again, Lewis Cook, isn't he? But don't rule him out for by this time next summer to to have a look. In. I guess he would be directly competing. He probably he would probably need weeks to get injured to 
to get in the squad. Uh, fast air. Missing Trippier, James. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm missing every Spurs right back. I'd take Chua Luka back, mate. <laughs> I'd say anyone at right back. Anybody who listened to the Q&A pod last week, we'll have Lucy Bronze at right back. Um, so I wouldn't say missing Trippier because... I, we all, the Spurs fans all knew even before the Champions League final that he was going to leave. So you, 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 you get to accept that. But clearly it was, a, it was a, a massive error from the club not to replace because I think the idea was to go with Cole Walker-Peters, which Pochettino seems to have, have given up on already. I'm not sure if he is or he isn't ready. I, my personal opinion is, unfortunately, he's probably not. And his height is always going to restrict him from, from being a top-level fullback. Can be done, you know, people like Gary Neville, Ashley Cole weren't particularly the tallest, uh, but uh, KWP is particularly on the on the short side. Um, I don't know how Trippier's playing again, by the way. It's, it's nothing to do with the fact that he left Spurs. It's not a better fullback than CAA. It's not a better fullback than Cole Walker either. Uh, so I find it a little bit strange that he's starting again. But we don't know. Maybe TAA's got a, a slight knock or something. Seems bizarre for him not to have played. Yeah, seeing the replay again, the goalkeeper has got to do much better there. Uh, Jamie Roberts, Barkley should complement Winks well. Winks it and keep possession. Barkley to play between the lines. Yeah, I think that'd be part of the, the idea. Good save there from Pickford. Glad to see Tyrone Mings playing. One of the things a lot of people are saying over the weekend about Mings playing, and my fear for him was that essentially that left-sided centre-half position is Maguire's. Maguire is the standout um, first choice for England at centre half now. So allowing Mings in because he's naturally left footed, he's obviously going to go left sided centre half, which puts Maguire out of position. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. You'd be amazed how much of a problem. Ledley King's best position for Spurs was left sided centre half. It just wasn't the same if he ever played at right sided centre half when very occasionally he did. Um, strange considering he'd be right footed and you'd, you'd think like certainly carrying the ball out should be um, a little bit easier but I think Maguire's got really used to playing in that area now so it'd be interesting to see but I think Mings deserves a shot he's not alone I think Michael Keane he's having a poor season for Everton I don't think he has the quality for this level and I think there's a lot of centre-halves who have been in and around the squad or not had a look at yet who deserve a chance so I mean, James Tarkovsky at Burnley should definitely be in this squad. Lewis Stunk's playing really well for Brighton at the moment. I think Connor Cody at Wolves, I think he's English. Um, otherwise, he must be playing for someone else. I think he's suffered through the change in the system with Southgate from a back three slash five to a back four. I think Cody would have been in the squad by now if it was still a back three five. I still like Jamal Lascelles at Newcastle, um, not because he just won me a Big Mac last year. But I do think he's a good defender. Where he would probably be prohibitive at this level is, is the ball retention. Um, but I think certainly Tarkovsky and Dunk um, are worth certainly having a proper look at between now and the tournament next year. Uh, John Bailey, what the fuck? You are minutes behind. Are you up to speed, John? Let me know. Danny McDonald, have they got Adrian in golf? No, worse. Liverpool can keep the cheese. We're winning, fam. So she is back. I've been keeping everyone entertained. How was the five minute solo there? Are you allowed to? So I did the microwave popcorn. Fucking half the shit burn. <laughs> I see that. Black popcorn. <laughs> to be fair, so you're going to start a meme so you can't cook. But it's fucking microwave popcorn. And the ironic thing is, it says on the packet, it could take anywhere between one and three minutes. You'll know, don't don't burn the popcorn. It's inside a bag, inside the microwave. How am I supposed to know if it's burning or not? I feel like there's smoke coming out of the packet. Uh, Mark Jackson also. I like you, shit now. Well. <laughs> he's aimed specifically for me. Uh, Thursday night football, what's your position? Um, have, a, have a guess, Mark. Um, I'm sweet, but I sit at the back and play. So you can imagine I said, huh. compare myself to Harry Winks. I like the ball, get the ball in there and the turn. Play football, yeah, give it back to me. We play, I lay it off, we go again. Um, one two with the keeper. I, I like two with the keeper. I like to see the game. I don't like the ball being behind me. Uh Danny McDonald. Opinions on the Madison Casino news. Have you seen this? Such? Madison Casino news. So well, I was quite harsh about James Madison on the pod last week. It was sick. And then he's been in the casino. England squads. Um 
I have to say, what I've heard since, and it's worth saying, going and playing poker, which it looked like he was playing in the, fo in the photo I saw, or going and playing football for your country are two very different things. What I've you heard, might need the money. Uh, Kosovo are winning. Which, it might need which the is money. awful news for England. It means we might not qualify. Um, it was the choice of the England staff to send him home because they didn't want him flying out to the Czech Republic under the weather in a confined space with the players and sickness spreading. So it wasn't Madison's choice to pull out the squad. So from that point of view, I apologise. Yeah. Um, I think, don't tell him you're fucking sick, mate. But no, we read too much into it. Unfortunately, it will happen. What, what, what we love to do with our stars is, that's where Rashford lets himself down badly. He can't be doing that this way. No. Um, you play for England, you're going to be under scrutiny all the time. He's more than entitled, especially on a on a Lee's on on a Friday night before the weekend. Can when I just you, interrupt when you for one second? Because no, I need to say something. When to Lee. your club's oh. not playing, you can talk to Lee afterwards. He's he's one of the king of the FPL world, so he can wait. Yeah. Um, but it was a naive thing to do. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have gone out. go and play fucking poker online or get your mates around your house. Um, he, he should have known it was going to get picked up. And it's not a big deal, but it will get made a big deal. Speak but to Lee. Lee. Hi, Lee. How are you doing? We established yesterday, Lee, in the first five minutes of your live stream, that Sam's married to a mug, which I don't know if you wanted to go down that route with what you were talking about. but basically, Sorry, I was involuntary nodding. Yeah, yeah. Sam's married to a mug, basically. Uh, so, Lee, <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to go from there. <laughs> but it was a, a great stream yesterday. Um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Um, my cousin's on the stream. TAA shagging Southgate's missus. That's your cousin's on the stream. Yeah. Um, um, he, he might be. Uh, he might there's, a lot, the it, there's a lot of that going around, isn't there? Yeah. And uh, Lee says Trippier must be pulling up trees in Spain. But to be honest, I haven't. We don't follow it enough no, to know I, what he's doing out I, there. Right? Everybody in the no chance. Uh, everybody says that Trippier has been doing really well. At <laughs> Lee says he's been called worse. Well, being a Liverpool fan, <laughs> by, we won't by start. By Sam, really. I should imagine. Yeah, quite, quite rightly. Um, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of chat today. You're going to eat and talk. Mm. Well, while the chat's going good, we'll keep talking to the people, won't we? Did you skip sure. 10 odd minutes? Uh, yeah, but you're not talking fast enough. Yeah, that's all right. Matter. We need help. I like to I like to elaborate on my points, right? This popcorn tastes awful. It's all burnt. Hello, Jeff. I've kind of covered that, but thanks for the question. Uh, Jeff, you'll be pleased to know we've got a uh, rotation FPL on Thursday's Clash of the Correspondence. Ten. More, more. Who did I say? You said rotation FPL. I just gave everyone his real name. Yeah, I said, Ooh. said a rotation FPL. More, more, more Chelsea coming up. Um, yeah, FFI tests uh, should be has been good for Atletico so far. Assisting game week one for Morata, if I remember. If you say so. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Martin, good save from Pickford. I still prefer Pope. Your thoughts, James? No. Um, for England or in general? Not for England. International, oh, that's good, good from Pickford. Good take. Being a goalkeeper in national football is very very different to club football. I think... What? Um, all right, it's very different to the Premier League, shall we say. Yeah. Look at the goal Everton conceded against... Oh, he was offside there. That's Harry Kane, creative defensive midfield force there. Mm. What was the goal they conceded where he flapped? Yeah, with Sheffield United goal, mm -hmm. went in off Mina. Yeah. The corners that he's going to receive at international level are just not like that. Um, you, you get people attack the space at the near post and the back post. You just won't get targeted in the same way. Um, nice and, those, and those that would target him, nice ball. Uh, generally national size that would be far inferior to England. So oh, that's a good, good cross. cross. Ends, uh, um, are generally in, inferior. It's not going to matter so much. He's also, very importantly, he's far better with his feet than Pope. He does overdo it does get himself in trouble. And he also, he's got two points of attack, Pickford, in terms of short distribution. He's also got a really good long kick on him 
um, either via a back pass, he'll smash it. He's got one of the longest kicks for a goalkeeper. That's a good touch from Barkley. Good. So, no, at this level, I would still prefer Pickford. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's done uh, enough to lose what his What colour do in- what colour kit do England best play in? Black and white, because in 1966 TV, we only had black and white. <laughs> grey then, yeah? Yeah, so grey. Because <laughs> um, um, those were the glory days when we were in grey. Every time England win a big game in red, 66 gets mentioned. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, now give it a rest, for God's sake. Um, Runners leads. How is Mings above Dunk? I maintain his city had bought him over stones. He'd be a legend by now. I don't know about legend, but I did yeah. while you were out the room, so I'm talking about Lewis Dunk. Oh, oh. Look at the link from Kane. Just saying. Ah. <laughs> oh. Was he off there? Yeah. He's given it. There's no VAR, so it'll count. Is there no VAR in uh, Europa qualifiers? Kane has already got a really great understanding of Sterling now. I think people saw that. Um, Kane will be good at City then. In the Costa game. The problem for Kane is in this team, he's the best passer, of, he's the best passer for England, he's the best passer for Tottenham. Use him. His his weight of return for for passes like that is perfect. Sterling knows. Sterling knows now. You can trust him. Feed it into him. Look at the movement off. And he's he's miles on side. Sterling. I think that's yeah, all right as well. He's behind the ball. That's that's game this time. No too problem. easy. It's just two nil. Oh yeah. I'm knackered, mate. Well, we, we talk about international football a bit more um, you said that you wanted to have a conversation there about whether England matter yeah I will but I want to get through some of this chat first ok but the chat's um, going to keep going it's not like Twitter where yeah 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 we'll, we'll, I'll catch up a bit TZL thoughts on Danny Mills Liverpool United combination team uh, Pogba on pure ability could argue Maguire ever mattered although he's been a beast this season other than that can't argue it hurts man you'd be a Man United fan he said Danny Mills did this United Liverpool uh, joined 11 earlier and it was 11 Liverpool yeah, yeah I saw um, this unfortunately Tazil, there's not a lot of arguments apologies if I'm butchering you know. there was another uh, video on um, Saturday uh, Social Louis, Sunday Louis Social Patel, Louis Patel said England played best in black and white mm. um, FPL Slug Grey from 96 yeah we all hated that kit until we played in it like, uh-huh. it, that was iconic the Germany game wasn't it yeah uh Dan Lord, is that FBO Loco, Lord Dan? Let me know it if it is. is. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, Trippy will learn how to defend that athletic coach. Probably not huh. wrong, mate. Um, uh, fast air, Trippy's tiny transfer fee is the strangest part. Yes, I think we all thought it was quite a low transfer fee. Um, particularly when one of the criticisms I've had of Spurs over the summer was trying to force out too much money for certain players. And yet Trippy went relatively cheap. Did he have uh, no time left on his contract or something? Uh, about two years to go or something. Fair play. Uh, uh, Dan Lord, Cody's a scouser. That doesn't mean he's English, Dan. I'm just talking about Connor Cody. Why Connor Cody. Uh, Isaac Howson, hello. Uh, FFI test. Uh, Michael Keane was helped by Zuma Pace next to him and Gay in front of him last season. Both gone now. Not getting Zuma's hurting massively. I agree with that. Zuma's an upgrade on... I think Mina is absolutely erratic. There's a beast of a player in there somewhere. But we haven't seen it yet. Uh, John Smythe. When was the last time England didn't get a ridiculously easy qualifying group? Well, we um, first lost in 43 games since 2009. So that's an indication of how long? Probably 98. When we didn't qualify. When we had Italy and Poland. No, we did qualify. No. We drew nil nil. When win. was the last time we didn't qualify? It was, two... it was 2008. It was Croatia and Russia, yeah. who admittedly um, got to the quarterfinals and semifinals of that tournament. That's got to be the hard last time. But um, Surely the ultimate test is when you qualify, don't qualify. That's what I'm saying. We, we, when we last didn't qualify. Fuck the up here. I need a, a point at home to Croatia. Um, and everybody realised how good Modric was that, that, that night. And God knows out why. He joined us at Tottenham and other people weren't smashing into him straight away on a mud heap at Wembley and he was the best player by a while. Um, not, yeah, the qualifier for 98, I think we had Italy, Poland, Georgia and Moldova. Um, we lost 1-0 at home to Italy and we drew 0 nil away, but we won the other games. We had a, a big win in Poland, which is a stat for you. It was uh, the first broadcast ever on Channel 5. Oh, really? Yeah, made a 31st, 97. The shit I remember. 
go and Google that. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, someone wise, a man should play over Barkley all day long. Trust me, I'm a Chelsea fan. Yeah, but yeah, no one's hated. arguing. And uh, we've pre-recorded the episode with with rotation FPL that will go out Thursday. He's not a big fan of of Barkley, but there's also no need for Mount to be forced, you know, playing these two games so quickly. It's the right thing. Dip him in, give him a chance. Ooh. Didn't go so well. Dip him out. What's wrong he with can, him? He can come on in the second half and stuff. So he's shot. And we pre-recorded that. <coughs> and by the way, Sid jinxed that Sterling's getting injured tonight. So if Sterling does get injured in this game tonight, I can tell you that it's Sid's fault. I didn't jinx it. Just was yeah. one of them things. Uh, Andrew Martin, should England go free at the back? That's a good question. Chirwell and Trent should should be the width. Yes, definitely they're the, the two best fullbacks, no doubt about it. I thought about this. Chirwell and who? And Trent as a full, as wingbacks. I thought about this, and yeah. I, I tried to think why Southgate changed. So, a couple of things to remember here. Chilwell and Trent both play in back forwards for their clubs. So as much as the idea of them going forward as wing backs, it appeals. Um, they're both better suited to playing in the full back positions. There's not many teams in our country playing with a back three at the moment. We know Chelsea, Spurs, even Arsenal occasionally have, have done it. City every now and again. Generally, teams are playing with with fours. Yeah. Because I think when Southgate come in, it was kind of trendy well yeah Conte just had the Chelsea year and all that so it was like okay back threes we're in if you will we'll just watch this and then feet for the Tyrone Mings oh oh he fancies it yeah yeah good cross as well flipped it in oh but I think that the number one reason why he's changed and it was a weakness for England in the World Cup was he obviously went with basically Sterling up front with Kane but you've got England have got four very very good attacking forwards in wide areas with the two that are on the pitch Sterling Rashford Sancho and obviously Callum Hudson or Doy as well <laughs> playing a back three um, with wing backs means essentially you could never get more than one of them in the team yeah. and even that is probably going to be possibly in a hole or maybe even right up front like Sterling was with Kane at the World Cup yeah. so I think that's the reason he's changed is because he's identified the, and they're all a good age as well Rashford's still what 22, 3 yeah yeah yeah. yeah Hudson is. Adoy's a baby Sancho's a baby Sterling's still 23 yeah so these guys have all got time on their side they're all quick hopefully touch wood they won't suffer with injuries too badly so I think that's the number one reason why he changed to a, a back four. couple of quick ones. Uh, Lee, FPL family, looking forward to Planet FPL meets WGTA tomorrow. Uh, mm, technical <laughs> technical issues uh, on the edit, Lee. So maybe Wednesday. Um, it's imminent. It's imminent. But yeah, this evening, uh, poor old man Charles has some technical issues. So just keep your fingers crossed. That Basically... It's fucking Nick's fault. <laughs> All right? And that's it. Okay. Uh, Jeff, Captain's Pick Pod, uh, would I rather top four for West Ham or an FA Cup win? Not even a doubt in my mind. Give me the FA Cup win all day long. Give me the FA Cup win. Yeah, I want a trophy on the board. I'll, I'll take that as well because we're still in it. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah. uh, as long as we don't get a league one side and you guys don't get a league two we're, side we're, we're, de right. we're definitely in it for another two and a half months at least yeah. Ben Miller afternoon chaps so it's afternoon where Ben is who's your favourite Bulgarian of all time oh it's easy for me Stoichkov Lechkov no. Modric no. no he's not a uh, question who's your favourite I think it's Spurs player Babs, isn't it Berbatov I loved Dimitar I, I think of I think Lechkov I think honestly of all the people I've seen play for Spurs, this is quite a big statement. Nobody made me smile more than him. Mm. Even though he was a lazy in the stadium, he was a lazy oh brick on petrol was good. Yeah. 20, 30 fags a day, but the ball could go a hundred yards in the air and he put it out. Yeah, Harry oh, so Kane this is, is really uh, being discussed. Yeah, uh, it's on the chat here. 
we've got the volume on quite quietly. So the match is going to get abandoned. I wouldn't be surprised. A the coldest stuff. What's actually uh, taking place? So uh, give us a second to turn the volume up, live streamers. They're still playing. So the protocol, as you, I'm guessing that's what happened there, is uh, Captain is Kane goes to speak to the referee, makes a complaint. Then they're meant to put an announcement out of the stadium. Game continues. If the chanting doesn't stop, it's up to the referee to stop the game. But the, the England players can't just walk off. Um, the problem is here is it's been mentioned so much in the build-up that it gives the chance to be some people here a fucking hero, mm. and I, I don't think. So like Danny said, I don't think England, he doesn't think the Bulgarian fans are going to stop. Well, I don't think and, it. Uh, I don't think it helps that they? England came out and said it specifically about the Bulgaria game when it wasn't even the next game. No. Still had to go and play in the Czech Republic first. So, yes, there'd been incidents um, when English sides had played in Bulgaria before, but, you know, there's plenty worse out there than Bulgarians, I'm certain. Yeah. Um, so, that for me, that was inviting trouble to say, all right, some dickheads come along. You might be able to be a hero and get a football match abandoned. Yeah. Paul's on the stream. Sky player and FPL. Paul, Hello, how Paul. are you? Asking if either of us are thinking about getting Abraham in for the Sky game. That's a good question. <laughs> and I haven't got a good answer. I've been I'm, silent. I'll be very honest, Paul. We'll record Wednesday. I really haven't given Sky a second thought for the last few days. We, had, we recorded with Tom and Nick Saturday. We've been pretty full on. We've, we've already recorded two it. podcasts today. So I've really not given Sky a fault, but we've got nothing in. I've got nothing in the schedule tomorrow. He's got to do some editing. Um, yeah, I will. But I, will out, yeah. I will give Sky a proper fault. I probably won't be getting Abraham in for Sky immediately, um, but his numbers are amazing. Oh, class! Even more so for Sky than FBA. absolutely class at the moment. I don't know, you know, I fancy Barkley to uh, to get another on the score sheet today. Could be a hat-trick for him. Are you up to speed on a chat, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's good. They didn't take that long then, did it? No, no, no. Twenty P says Barkley scores the next goal. Twenty P. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, it's been on the street for about three minutes. <laughs> I knew it was Barkley as well. Oh yeah, go on. What do you want? 20 p Oh dear. A nice assist from Kate. Actually, that was a good cross. Right. It was Trippier's cross, wasn't it? Uh well Lee says it's uh I, I got two fan ten. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, uh Jeff started Jeff Jeff Holt wants uh to know if we can start the triple A battery AAA. Oh he's Harry Bam Yang. Abamyang, Aguero, Abraham. All right, can we just have a moment there for Harry's left foot cross? Yeah, that's class. It's a good header as well, by the way. And if he wasn't there, Sterling behind him would have put it in. It's good to see from Barkley. My biggest criticism of him has always been decision making. He's got all the ability. Why well, Ted's on the stream as well now? Uh, literally after recording, why do I ever badmouth Barkley? It always. Comes back to <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can hear all about that on Thursday, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Harry Pirlo with a cross FFI test in the sand. You can have a look. Okay, I'm having a look. Have a butcher's. Are you loaded with beer? You've got enough. Yeah, I've got another one down there. I've got a really dodgy bot like that. How is it? Uh, Chai Wai Loon, what do you think of uh, Cho and Mount double up? Um, you can probably follow what Rotation FPL is saying on here. Um, recommended. I, I think we'll go for a spoiler there. Mm. Uh, Jeff, Holt, what do you guys think of a triple A battery? Of yeah, I just Abraham spoke about that. Aguero? Triple A's. Um, yeah. We yeah, why not? Uh, FPL family. 
three nil narcissism yeah, wait, came. Wait, wait, wait. Actual oh, genuine oh, creative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to go away. This is it. If only Harry could be on the majority of uh, most of his passes. I think I and we have possibly got to accept that he's the most creative player we've got. We don't have a ten. No spoiler for you. Article coming up from uh, Mr. Adam Pritchard at Free Five Who in the next couple of days. Uh, an article on the death of the number 10 and probably an, an elaboration, but bearing in mind he's a gooner on Meza Ozzel. That'll be coming up on Planet FP. Anyone, anyone on the stream with eyes on the prize will have noticed I just put a chair behind me. Guess who's coming? The first one in the comments to, uh, to guess who it is wins a prize. It's Rebecca guess. Vardy's account. <laughs> guess who's coming? Joining us on the live stream. <laughs> You're bellin. Man child in the house. Hello. Man child in the house. Well done, mate. How are you? Uh, <laughs> Jamie Roberts, did I hear on a previous pod you've got Indian heritage? Uh, yes, I do. Only when he's referring to being Kevin Indian De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne or the brown David Attenborough, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my dad was born in India. My mum wasn't. They, they moved to Kenya. So I'm East African Indian. But I'm born in Barnet, mate, North London. So I'm East African Indian English. In other words, he don't fucking know what he is. So we got Hybrid, no chance. Hybrid, <laughs> cocktail, whichever you want. But, yeah, I do have uh, Indian heritage in me. <laughs> Ronan Megan says, do you think Kane will be classified as a midfielder next year in FPL? No. <laughs> he, might, he might be cheaper than 11 million away. Well, Chris Pellis <laughs> is a Kenyan Indian. The United Nations are surge. Yes, Manchild in the house. KDB was pictured in training, by the way. Oh, right. Bang goes the price drop. It'll, it'll go down in price now. Hmm. Just turned on for the first time. First heard. It's a lovely heard. ball from Trips. Man, child, yeah, bella. <laughs> Tom Campbell just jumped on the screen. The first oh, words he heard. Hello, mate. First words he heard were you saying, "Oh, man, child, you bella." <laughs> <laughs> if this calls Good me time. first thing in the morning, these are the first words I hear every day. <laughs> you bella. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I call you. I call you little bitch. Yeah, sup, you little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. What's that a new campaign? Kick bullying out of FPL. Huh, kick bullying out of FPL. <laughs> that's that's all well and nice, but that's essentially yeah. the end of Planet FPL. Jamie Roberts, am I a cricket fan? I am. I am a casual cricket fan. Like okay. not golf. None of that county you fucking cricket. support after countries, don't you? Not 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 uh not county cricket particularly. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'd pick. Um, Glamorgan. Do you know why I'd pick Glamorgan? Full of Indians, I don't know. No, no, no. Glamorgan's in Wales, mate, so how, how those two correlations doesn't work. In the late 90s, I uh, used to be able to play fantasy cricket on through the newspapers, right? Same way as you used to play fantasy football originally. And uh, uh, it was the Telegraph or whatever. Glamorgan used to have a batsman called Tony Cotty. So I decided I was going to support Glamorgan as my cricket team. I had no reason to support any other. Anthony Cotty. There you go. Can we just clarify something? Yeah, man. Cricket's fucking shit. Cricket is... Uh, hey, test cricket's a day out on the piss. The, 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 the final yeah. was New so Zealand was amazing. Oh. The end of Ben Incredible. Stokes' innings against Australia was was amazing. Oh, Did you play drinking games or you watch cricket? Generally speaking, you can. It's shit. You can. How can you pay for it play for friend. five days and end up in a fucking draw? It's like letting us sit on your bed for a weekend and doing nothing. In fact, yeah. a whole week. Yeah. Every time you make any comments to do with women, your wife mysteriously appears on the screen. <laughs> When you're talking about so true. She did or, that last time. Yeah, she's like, like, oh yeah, nice, nice girls in Bournemouth. And she suddenly, <laughs> she appeared on the street. Oh, she's <laughs> jumps on the comments somehow. 
Morpheus in the house. James. Hello, mate. What do you want for your birthday at the WGTA uh, meetup? Hint. It's got to be a shot. Um, I'm going to guess he wants a, sh a shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a, a shot on Christmas target. meetup. A shot on target on James from birthday Kane meet. at Wolves two days It later. is indeed. Um, is it Sam's birthday tomorrow? I seem to you 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 said in a couple of days on the stream, and he didn't specify which day. Maybe she doesn't want us to know her birthday because then we'll know her first name, surname, date of birth. We only need two two Easy. more bits of information, then we can we can open a bank account or it's something. Bulgaria. Yeah, Sam's birthday is tomorrow. There's three guys at work whose birthday is tomorrow. Mine is in a week. Mine is in a week. I'm not looking forward to uh, what day's your this birthday. One. Next Tuesday, yo. Oh, to no, next Tuesday. It's not after work, is it? Well, your birthday, no, it's oh, all no, day. No, no, <laughs> the fucking recording. The recording, you know Birthday only starts at half five. <laughs> or or Listen, for two, just like midnight yeah, so when he finishes. Trust work. me, when you get to my age, you don't give a shit about no, birthdays yeah. anymore. It's more for your kids. They want a candle and cake for me so they can blow out the flipping candles. Louis Patel says cricket wasn't boring last summer. Nah, you're right. I'm pretty sure that test match is still going on. Yeah. So, <laughs> I so, was with the boys sorry, yesterday. Sorry, yeah. let me just go if I say. England played Australia over 25 days and the final result was a draw. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Carry on. I'm sure there's... Oh, Sam's on set gout cast tomorrow on her birthday. She's making her oh, debut, nice. debut on... Sc debut. Sorry, it's pronounced properly. Debut. Best of luck. Uh, so, yeah, good luck with that. What did you just say? Debut. She's making her debut. Debut. Yeah. Debut. It's Pronounce like, it properly. It's a French word. It's the like English that. version of the French um, word. Yeah. I was with the boys yesterday. You will appreciate this. We were we were talking about my birthday, and I was trying to be a bit cheeky. I told James this to say, what are you going to buy me? I mean, they're only five and seven, so they don't exactly, they're not balling. Oh, shit. For a second there, I thought you were like, with the boys. Nah, like, with nah, the boys. Like, they get 50p pocket money out of my tight ass. Right? I'm, I'm stingy as you like. Anyway, Aaron, my youngest one, has decided that he's going to buy me a slush puppy making machine for my birthday. I asked him, have you ever seen me drink a slush puppy? I mean, he's like, no, nah, Dad, but it's good. Trust me, you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, genius. Genius. That is a... So, yeah, I might end up with a slush puppy machine on my birthday. Let's look at this iOS shit. Yeah, good pressing. Much better. A shah who's stingy, that's quite a popular stereotype. It's a popular stereotype everywhere, Chris. Trust me. <laughs> We're known for our entrepreneurial type business spirits. We've not even made it to half time and the racism has started. Uh, it's, it's stereotypes, not racist. It's stereotypes. What? You can't just give it another name and it's not racist. It's not racism, it's ethnic banter. Like, no. No, no, no. It's a stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John Smythe's got the right idea. Cricket is nearly as boring as American sports. Oh, no, uh, what? The one American sports is incredible. Have you ever watched an NFL game? I've watched a little bit the last couple of weeks because I've had the games at Tottenham. Have you ever watched it's a full fucking, NFL game? It's fun. Yeah. Uh, how long did it last? Uh, about, I don't remember. About as long so as a five-day cricket match. Three to four hours. And in that four hours, you're lucky if you get an hour's play. I know that's the bit. I'm not into sport. In fact, we went to a So how can game. it be amazing? Because they just buy a big... Dude, when you buy a T-shirt... This is going to get called off now. Oh, uh, Cannon. There's no need for this in football, man. You guys should form a boy band. We actually are. Yeah, yeah, Usually yeah. I'm over here and we're called the FPL. Oh, 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 oh. Mysterious girl. The Andre I would be. I could be any singing artist. Can the players really not abandon the game? Chris wants to know. No, the players can't. It's up to the referee. They can ask for it to be abandoned. Why? Why would they ask for it to be you're abandoned? Trying to, uh, they're trying to, they're trying to make a stance. Um, uh, players. I think it's fair enough. Especially when, as well, you've already gone and battered the opposition. You're not making an excuse, are you? Saying, look, we're fucking free to one. Enough. Don't have to battle with this. Will we get afforded the three points? It'll be the same, like three nil, probably. Yeah. And that's it. End off. Where, where is, is anyone on the stream though? Do we get all the points? It's in Bulgaria. Yeah. 
You can't actually hear the chanting, can you? No, no, no. I mean, you wouldn't even... No, I've not heard anything personally, but we're talking and the TV is on very quietly. You're assuming it's like monkey chants when, and stuff like when, that, right? When England played in Montenegro, you could hear that bad. Yeah. What is it, monkey chants? Yeah, you could hear it. Because mm. if they're singing racist songs and it's Bulgarian... I think for every syllable, right? Know, right? The racist goal, it'd be a 3-0 default win. They should just get awarded as goal. I wonder if these lot are being kicked out or these lot dressed in mm. black. How do we get to see the game other than you guys? Like, it's on ITV. Oh, yeah, that guy like, was throwing up middle fingers. Best. Well, that's normal. Are they Are they just all leaving now? I don't know if they're being escorted out or they've just decided to leave. Like what you said, they're fun spoil. Mm. They're just so dumb. There's one place to be racist. It's not in football. There's no place to be racist. Well, well, like, on a scale of not being racist... To They're all leaving now, so... Um, I mean, there's certain plays, you know, when you're mates with someone, you can you can get away with it, can't you? Like Bernardo Silva and Mendy. Yeah, but this is... This is <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken, this is the England squad, right? These guys are... You are not mistaken. This fantastic. is the England squad. And England so team. these guys are paid. So if I was just, like... They could buy one of the racist people. <laughs> Morpheus wants to know where would you them. like? I could. Like, Manchester you... wouldn't be racist anywhere. If I had the sterling money, I would. I would literally see how much money it would take to just knock you out. Like a fifty grand stack? No. <laughs> a fifty grand stack would be uh, one day's wage. So I don't know if you want to throw one day's money at me. And also, fifty grand would knock you out. One piece, I would love to have the money to to, to, to know. <laughs> yeah, but money's not the answer. It's not that answer, right? She's not like her I would get rope uh, string. Oof. Look at Harry's pass yeah. again. The, he, they should he just fucking pass it earlier. To tell him to fuck off. He was on side three seconds earlier. Harry passed it. To yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. I've got to accept that Kane's a different footballer, and that's who he is now. Fifty grand in five pieces as far as they. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, did you? Was that uh, Morpheus? Was, was that a pun on Sterling throwing Sterling at them to uh, stop them being racist? It was now. <laughs> it, it was now. <laughs> In Gulud, six minutes additional. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Well, well now we've got it uh, immortalised here by Jeff, captain's pick. If I'm not mistaken, this is the England squad. <laughs> Those are your exact words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he said that, yeah. yeah. Well, they're red. They could be Arsenal just as easily. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, while we're on an international break, it could be Arsenal, you're right. Oof. Nice try. International break sounds like a bad relationship. Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you can have that one. All of your phrases are now being immortalised. First live experience of Manchon. They could buy one of the racists. <laughs> I don't think it was, it was quite, that was what you were aiming for, was it? It was more just shut up. Well, they're, they're done now. Don't, the, I don't think you were saying, if in case it was misread, you weren't saying buy one to like recruit them, were you? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it's kind of like... How like they have enough money to convince me to actually physically stitch my mouth shut? Then I, I feel like at that point you can't really be affected that affected by racism. I still would. <laughs> Break sounds like a bad relationship. Where were you for the first forty minutes of this live stream? Because uh, a genuine has got better since Manchar has, has joined us. Uh, it's going to be 4-0 at half time. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't know much about football, but I know that Peter might want to get involved in this fucking slaughterhouse that's going on here. Peter? Yeah. Peter who? The guys are out for animal protection. They're against slaughterhouses. Peter. Yeah. Go on, break. Now release. Yeah. Good. Okay. Kane's going to play him Rashford through and he's going to score. Watch. No, he's played an easy one now. 
One, two again. Go on, Harry. Get in. Yeah. I told you they were. Knowing they've been abused a little bit just makes every win so much sweeter, I'm sure. It's too easy. Too easy. They know why we did the stream tonight and not Friday night. Yeah. What's happening on Friday night? <laughs> we've got big Friday night. Ah, oh, yes. So oh, easy. I, I said yes. Like Where me. are they? Look, we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's only four of theirs. Brian, you always got the right idea. Golden assist for Kane. Oh, golden assist for Sterling. He's going to be blanking at the weekend. Are those stands behind it? Uh, yeah. And the reason they're empty is because they've been racist at a previous game. So they're only allowed half the stadium or something. So those there, you can see the flags. It's like race for respect on that. Those are areas that were closed from those sections being racist. Um, I don't think it was their last game, but a few games ago. So Bulgaria is known for this shit. Um, they're most not of, alone, mate. Most of the Eastern European countries are known for this. It's oh. a big problem. But not just the Eastern European countries. No. You get it with Italy. Uh, well, is it because all the footballers this, this is a this is a whole conversation about how um, it's a problem in fucking society, not just in in Eastern European football. I'm probably ignorant to suggest it is just Eastern European football because no, it's everywhere. Um, yeah, it's in this fucking country. It's everywhere. Um, yeah, Spain. Yeah. Millwall. Who did Millwall beat in the cup last year? Uh, quite a few teams. Leicester, they beat Leicester, Everton? Uh, no, Everton. I'd rather be a Packy than a Scouse, was what they were chanting at the uh, Everton fans. I mean, that's original, isn't it? Well, so yeah, it happens everywhere. And that was like six, nine months ago. All right, I'm going for a week. When I come Hot back, time. when I come back, I'm gonna. I need to get beer and team. I'll get you a beer. Okay. Um, when I come back, I'm gonna read some because we got some Twitter cues as well. I'm gonna oh, we got some, some Twitter gonna... questions. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for a little while. Go and have your piss breaks and all the rest of it. Video. Yeah, and give the ladies in your lives a little cuddle at halftime, make them feel not neglected. We can't do that because we're still at work. BS. Hey, wasn't that guy in a waistcoat during the World Cup? Yeah, man, he's the manager. Best. His waistcoat fucking killed it. Uh. What are you working on? Elbow. Can you put in the WhatsApp group audio tomorrow, please?
place match on survival. First on PS4, for the players. With AI, we can protect what we can't see. It's not like that's the most impossible to find. But we want to go with the AI, we go with the other package. Our camera traps allow us to have a high performance, taking thousands of pictures. I put up the AI can roll you over a good for a good for the world. In 10 minutes, instead of 10 days, it gives us time to do better nature in a day with better nature. <laughs> okay. We back. <laughs> Diet Coke, you do you. You hear that? It's the break. Do you? <laughs> this is the worst fucking button I've ever. Who's saying what? What was that thing moving behind the window? <laughs> I don't know. Was it the door? Can you see the window? Is John Smythe trying to shit us up? Then obviously the message got to Gareth Southgate. He speaks to the UEFA officials. And we're now into step one where the PA announces this has to stop. Otherwise there might be further action. He's fucking balanced. I said a few weeks ago about the UEFA. We're looking at a stadium now. Where all this clothes in bags. This is done up. That's the... That's the the extent of what they feel that they're doing to combat racism is kind of the fact is, is that you've seen a, a, a set of people there that have got the notice of the not of the bad shit. I said, at the end of the day, just show people you ain't for what they are. They're not doing no one you. I'm so proud of me doing what they're doing. And then we saw that chanting. That was after the first one. So here's Gareth Southgate to the UEFA official saying it's continuing. Then this is just below us here behind the goal where he can score the goals. That was a hard for poor group. We were responsible. For a lot of it, 40 or 50 of them leaving with about three or four minutes to go in the first half. But there has been a break, so we have to assume we've had step two. Yeah. Where only one Maybe they've gone for a beer. Right. <laughs> they can't yeah, take you know I mean? a beer. Half, but... I remember a uh, show we used to do with that is post goal number two. And then what followed on from that is that we're right at the end of the game. As you said, a lot of those that we saw down here, that we might call them. Um, uh, it says, I don't know if you see it in the UK, but they have no pundits in the US. There was a Bulgarian fan at the fence talking to the crowd. Yeah. Maybe. What upsets me, and it'll be a little bit, is what we don't know what the is. Chris is not sure how he feels about you retweeting him while he was taking a piss. Cheers, <laughs> Chris. Chris, thanks for the support all the time. Love it, mate. This is a good question for you, James. Go on, in, go on. In. Before Sensible, I get the old tweets out. Not about anything negative. James, this is from Paul, Sky Player and FPL, so we wouldn't get any nonsense out of him anyway. Very sensible person. Yeah, right. 
James, you've spoken on previous pods about Arsenal trying to replicate Liverpool with Lacazette in the Firmino role. Any chance Spurs are trying to do the same? Any chance shut that shit up with uh, the same with Sam and Mora doing the running? Yeah, I spoke very briefly at the last Tottenham pod on what I'm beginning to see with Kane, and I think you can all see it tonight. Oh, as a player, and he says, Friday night. There's a, a Bulgarian player telling the fans to get out of there. Okay. Yeah. Um, that yes, Kane is beginning to evolve. Evolve, yeah, evolve. Kane two point zero. Now, for that to work for Spurs, like it's working, it's worked for England tonight. You've got to have the two wide players go beyond. Can't be one. Can't just be Sun static from a central position. It's got to be like that, and therefore it's got to be Sun and Mora. Yeah. And then how do you fit in the Ericsson, Zali's, Lo Celso when he's fit and all that? It can't all happen. So I think that's where Spurs are at a little bit of a a crossroads and probably don't know themselves at the moment. When Kane ended up staying right up front when we went down to 10 men against Southampton, the old Kane. Yeah. He's brilliant, man. Here's your Bulgarian player there. He can fuck on pop off and all. Um, so, yes, you're right. I, I certainly see that with Arsenal, but only when it's Lacazette who wants to drop in or Bamiang doesn't want to so much. Lacazette's good back to goal, as is Harry. For me, knows mastered the position. Shams not going to do that today. Uh, New York. Did he get a deadline? I said to do it today, but they can do it tomorrow morning. Right, let's have a look at some Twitter cues of our own. Set expectations on them. Everyone back on the stream. We have how many people on the stream? 24. There's been 24 all day. No, there's 57. When was there 57? Right now, there's 54. You can see 54. I can see 24. Okay, here's one your light, Serge. Yeah, 58, says Jeff. This is uh, Milan Dobricic. Uh, Dobricic, Milan. Hello, Milan. How you doing? I'm related to the stream, so it can be for some other pod. Fuck it, we'll do it now. But can you, James, with Serge's opinion too, continue making your best English clubs that you started, having Man United first and Liverpool second? Can you rank nowadays Premier League clubs plus some others? Thanks. But, so, But what criteria? So we were discussing, and we discussed it very briefly on one of the pods. I think it was on the Q and A pod about big club. I, big I, club, I, I, which I was, started from someone asking Switch whether Everton or Leeds no, were the bigger club. I think it was uh, who would be the bigger club out of our two. Teams. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then there was a debate on Talksport about Everton or Leeds being the bigger club. And then I just hate this nonsense phrase, big club. I think. And it's probably a personal one. I'm very affected by being a regular attender of football. Did I probably do it quite a lot on fan base? And I measure that by size of support, be it people that go to the stadium, size of stadium, um, global appeal across the world. So I think United are the the gargantuan, then Liverpool. uh, City. No, to be honest, I've got Arsenal third. Nah. See, you have a stadium. They have the stability and infrastructure. Let's just watch this McDonald's burger. That's right. <laughs> um, they have uh, the training ground facilities. They've got the women's team. They've got the uh, eSports team. They've got everything. And they've got the, they've, they've built to last of City. I really think they're up there above Arsenal now. I think you've got a factor in with Arsenal, the historical as well. Sure. I think right here, right now, I don't know, I, I would put City above Arsenal. City, City as, a, as, a, as a football club in terms of trophies, they've essentially done nothing bar the odd trophy in the 50s, 60s, 70s and what they've done over the last 10 years. Yeah. And therefore you could make a place that City aren't a bigger club than Chelsea. Yeah, I, I don't City, put City, much weight on the history. City don't have the global support that Arsenal do. Not even close, mate. 
fans and history play a big part in a big club, but you, I, you can't um, live in the past, in my opinion. No, but then I would look at that from that perspective and go, okay, let's say everybody's got Shake Mansell's money. Mm-hmm. It's the bigger club. It's Arsenal. Yeah, but they don't all have his money. No, I get that. And it's all, it's, the whole argument's hypothetical. Yeah. So I think the number one um, basis that I would base it on is support. So with respect, the smallest club in the Premier League is Bournemouth. Yeah, I mean, 3,000 seat a stadium and all that. <laughs> 6,000 seat a stadium. 11, I think. Is it 11? I thought it was six. Yeah. How big is Arsenal? 60. 60. Just but then, people. but then I wouldn't say <laughs> I can be honest enough and not say right now that Tottenham are a big club not Arsenal I said on the on the pod at the time you wouldn't say because West Ham's got a bigger stadium than Chelsea that they're the, the bigger club it doesn't oh, no. work like that there are a number of different factors what are you uh, holy shitting if if that man there isn't sponsored by Ford well Seymour Jaswell no Pickford oh, why Pick Ford I don't think so, mate. Anyway, no, you know that guy. Is I, I, I would, I would make a case for Tottenham fourth, though. Well, if Jeff's gone, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, City, West Ham, Everton, Villa, Southampton. I don't know if he's purposely. Who the fuck am I, team, blood? Yeah, I think it, it might be a mistake. Southampton are not a big club. Nah. Um, there are clubs in the championship. Bradley Lewis, clearly a, a bright. There are a lot of different European teams that are just kicked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Wow. Considering clubs like Southampton, think of that area. I mean, it's a single, single team city. But you wouldn't, you can't compare Southampton with Newcastle. Right? <coughs> now, so people can say, "Oh, Newcastle haven't won a, a trophy for 50, 60 years, or whatever." Yeah. Newcastle is a huge football club. So that's what I'm saying. There's, there's no set criteria. Like I'd say, like. Newcastle as a club, size-wise, in terms of support, it's probably quite similar to, like, I'd say Tottenham, Chelsea. Tom Campbell. So Bigger than I, Man City. Did I see it was one of your guys' birthdays around the Christmas meetup because it's his on the 12th and he's hoping to make it. Who's that? Tom Campbell. He's hoping to make it to his birthday. Oh, he's he's the 12th. Up on the 13th. Ah, I think we had this last... Uh, yeah, it's, it's my birthday on the 13th, TC. Look, the both of you need to get a grip. Stop trying to steal... The limelight from Hub and Tom and Nick for organising a meetup by making it a birthday party, right? It's not a birthday party. It's going to be cake and candles. And all come with a nice little wrapped gift worth no more than £10. <laughs> well, me and Sid might turn up with a mic each, then we really fuck up their gig. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Man, child, get a little karaoke machine. <laughs> we'll just use that and start recording. Nobody wants a karaoke machine at an FPL meetup. Yeah. I still got beef with Sports Bar and Grill because I'm supporting my boy, the Rib Man. He's got proper beef with him at the moment. What do you reckon on the score? 4 0 at the moment. Six? Nah, finish 4 0. You think nothing in the second half? No chance. Finish 4 0. It was a hot knife through butter get when a, we scored the goals. Get, get, too easy. get abandoned in about 10 minutes. Rob Here we go. So, no chance, mate. So, I am off, by the way. Are you leaving? I am leaving. All right, mate. I'll leave you to watch if Bulgaria can win. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. All right, mate. Peace, love, ciao. Love. The community loves you. Thank you for all your hard work. We don't. Edit, don't edit that us. fucking shit. No, um, Christo, so this was something I wanted to kind of talk about on the pod. Um, it comes into a couple of stages. So he yeah. asks, and we have kind of covered it before, would you rather see your country win the World Cup or your club winning the treble? That's one stage extra. Treble too far. Just say league. I can answer that now, Chris. That I would rather see my team win the League Cup. I noticed, um, I think FFI Test is on the stream. Uh, <clears throat> FFI Test was on the stream. It certainly was. A little bit, but... So, I, so I, I know he was telling a story. He's an Everton fan. Yeah. Um, and oh. he's, he's followed Everton in Europe and stuff. Now, he was having um, a disagreement, should we say. We was watching England in a bar in Newcastle, and he was saying that he'd rather his club won the league than England won the World Cup. Yeah. Now, at that moment where we're playing Croatia in the World Cup semi-final, there's nothing more important than what's going on there and then. Oh, 
should be putting that away. <laughs> Fucking wind up merchant. Someone of his quality. But I go and watch my club and pay and watch my club every single week. Yeah, and a lot as well. I've been to, I don't know, seven or eight England games in my lifetime. Yeah. How can it possibly mean the same when I've gone and watched Spurs 700 times? Somebody on the stream earlier said, what was the best England game you've ever been to? I can answer that very easily. Yeah. Never been to see England play. There you go. Um, I went when we not beat, even that bothered. I went when we beat Croatia five one, mm. and as a Lennon had a weldy, uh, Stephen Gerrard and Lampard both scored twice. I think Rooney got the fifth. Um, basically, uh, Modric missed out with injury, and Croatia were fucked. In essence, we won five one. Um, yeah, I mean, what's the ticket for England now? Seventy quid. Well, I, my fucking buy a minute ticket was eighty quid. Let's call it seventy quid, right? You give me the chance of going to watch England for three hours or taking the family to Wagamama's for a decent meal with a couple of bottles of sake. What? I'll take the meal, mate. I can't what, be asked. What doesn't help is this. Yeah. So you watch them six, seven times a year. What's that? Stupid. Oh, you watch them six, seven times a year. Yeah. Maybe 10. And 80% of the games are against crap opposition. Yeah. But it's not really... You can't get any enthusiasm England's, for it. It's not England's fault. We lost Friday night and it doesn't matter. No one gives a fuck. Yeah. The problem is uh, in the actual tournament now as well, 24 teams, right? So you're going to get and, a load of shit yeah, games in the, that as the, well. The discrepancy in that saying this is crap, this is a step Ooh. above. Nice run there. Apart from running into each other. <laughs> but then we are still a major step below France and Spain and Germany and the Dutch and the Portuguese, the sort of sides that we're going to have to beat a couple of them to try and win the tournament next year, right? No doubt. We're still a, a step below them. Yeah. So we made the disparities in, with international football. And I think, like, the, the, the main thing, when this comes round, the first thing that... Is that a cane oh! assist again? Oh! Might as well have been. Um, I'm telling you, he's not finishing at 4 0. Kane's going to finish with 40 assists. <laughs> <laughs> um, that should have been another. There is so much disparity in the quality levels of international football. Huge. Class. And Plus. We're, 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 we're miles better than these and, and the other teams in our group, even Czech Republic, who we lost to the other night. We're only about, I don't know, the 12th best team in the world or something. We're still miles off. Yeah. And that's why it, this whole qualifying box, it comes round, the international break comes round, and I'm afraid to say that it's it's a chore. The one thing I have to credit Southgate is, generally speaking, other than Friday night, and they've been tonight, it's not their fault they're playing shit. England have been quite enjoyable to watch the last couple of years. At least trying yeah. to play football the right way and stuff. Yeah, he's always setting up with two wide men off yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. but... Good like, structure. You can't get yourself up for it. No. How could you feel anything Friday night? The only feeling that any of us felt Friday night was, oh, that shit. Oh, we're still going to piss this fucking group anyway. Mm. Doesn't matter, does it? And that's why I feel sorry for the players sometimes as well. Oh, England was shit. Can you blame them for not giving a shit when they've got, oh, uh, when they've got to uh, play for their clubs next weekend? And that's far more important. Mm -hmm. Um. It just doesn't mean the same. The one thing I would say about that personally is I think back to sort of like 04 and 06 when I think England had a, particularly 2004, I think if we'd have beat Portugal in the court final of that in Portugal, we would have beat the Dutch and Greece to win it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, that one more than 06 was the one we really missed the opportunity. 2006, when we lost to Portugal again on penalties, I was such a fucking mess. I emotionally, I, I could barely watch the penalties because it meant that much to me. And do you know what Tottenham were at the time? Pretty fucking shit. So I don't know if that's an impact. Yeah, possibly. I thought we'll change a lot. Because a, a lot of the guys, with respect to go and follow England all over the world, and, and some of England's away support, there are dickheads, like there are for everyone. But the majority of the support that follows England are, are around Europe. It's incredible. But a lot of them support smaller clubs. And it's their shot of glory. Mm -hmm. Like it was for me in 2004 watching England because Spurs were so fucking awful. 
Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know if as Spurs have got better, that's influenced me to not be bothered. Yeah, I mean, look, you're talking about 2004, 2006, um, which is in the first five, seven years of the Premier League at that point. No, 92 Premier League, sorry. Okay, it's probably 30 years coming up to. I thought it was 20. I cannot say. Mm. Still, first 10 years. But how many uh, international players and foreign players were in the league then compared to now? We had four. Mm. I wouldn't say it's much different. You don't think so? I mean, we. That was just... I mean, that midfield, you know, Beckham, Skulls, Lampard, Gerrard, how we couldn't find a way to, to make that work will forever be a frustration. I'll get really annoyed to talk about Paul Skulls. That could be the whole rest of the show. Skulls, eh? I suppose his attitude was in touch, but we didn't really no, care that he... Paul, Paul Scholes' attitude was, he ain't, ain't going to play me where I should play, I can't bother with this crowd. Yeah. Playing Paul Scholes wide on the left. Still playing 4-4-2 with that midfield. Ridiculous. Mm. It's in there, Rushford. Guess who's joined us on the stream? Chancer. Yeah. You can Hello, Dan. How are you doing, mate? Oh, well, I'm going to dig out the Twitter ones, actually. Oh, That's OK. Would. Give me back the uh, tablet. Go on, go. No. Nah. Patrick. No. They're trying to piss him off. Oh, come on. Someone's got to get anyone into that. Uh, FPL Potter, Jamie, um, our Stoke correspondent when they get promoted in 30 years. Um, I'm after your opinion more than an answer to this. Should people be allowed to support England in major tournaments if they haven't supported them through qualifying? There's... Well, how are you going to stop them? Well, I don't know if that's related to the idea of actually getting tickets. Um, I think, yes. I mean, the priority, as far as I'm aware, does go to these guys who, and that's one of the reasons why they keep going to all these shit places, is so they can get all the tournament tickets yeah. for themselves. Supporters Trust and all that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could be a member of Peter Juice. Um, oh, come on. But I think I, I understand that a little bit in terms of, because, yeah, you know, come the court final of the Euros next year, if we win it, when we get beat, everyone's going to want a ticket. When we get beat by Holland in Rome in the quarterfinals, save that. Then, yeah, yeah, then yeah we'll, we'll we'll be right up for it, and we're not up for this. But I, I'm afraid to say, Jamie, I, I don't know how how you're meant to get up for this. Jeff uh, wants us to do the best Spurs and the best West Ham, one to eleven in memory. But um, obviously, we're not going to do it so now. Again, but so for you to create your best Spurs one to eleven ever. Yeah, and me to do the best West Ham one to eleven. We'll do it. It's a good shout. We'll do it um, when there's no football, and we want to do a dedicated Tottenham to it. I can do it. Um, we can do it then. Yeah, but no one wants to listen to that now. One to eleven players. It's going to take ages. No way. Lewis in goal. Um, what am I supping? Lewis in goal. Non-alcoholic beer called Flat Tire. Stephen Cart right back. Out of your old Ledley King, Jan Vertonga at left back, Modric and Dembele in midfield, uh, Bell on the right, Ginola on the left, Berbatov and Kane up front. There you go. Go on, then. next. There is no next. Mr. No Name, what's up? What's up? What's up? You say Stephen Toomey's on the stream? Uh, no, I said Dan Chancer jumped on the oh. stream. But Stephen Toomey asked, how badly disposed to destroy Watford this weekend? 4-0 for me. Like, you know, he ain't been watching the Spurs, has he? Yeah. Uh, Elite FPL podcast. But he has been watching um, Watford, so... Do you see yourself doing more live streams during games? The last one he did during Southampton Bournemouth was really enjoyable. Thank you Good, very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, it's just time, man. We The intention... from oh, Raz? It's got to be a goal. Oh, oh come Jesus. on. It's not because I would have seen The intention it. and the plan that we tried to stick to is to do one a month. We were going to do Southampton Leicester this month, but I thought actually doing it during England would be different and actually save me just being bored watching the yeah. talk for it. Um, the plan for... I just do as I'm told. James says we're streaming. I'll the, just... Yeah. <laughs> the plan for us next month to be confirmed is we'll stream during the Friday night Norwich and Watford game. Oh, man. What day is that? It's the second Friday, I think, tenth or something like that. Of yeah. November. When's your birthday? Next week. Uh, the eighth, you mean? No, there's. I think it's on the eighth. Uh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, my yeah. sign happening that night. I think so. Uh-huh. Looks like it might just be me. 
Um, but we'll see what. Uh, did Sky do the did the Premier League nope. do the flipping fixtures? No announcement today. FFS, Look come on, go on, go on. Oh, did Sterling bring man. down Barkley. I think Sterling you should get booked for that. Good to see Barkley making that run again, though. Oh, <laughs> unintentional. No, I thought we did it on purpose. Harry uh, Liam, FPL beer lover. Unrelated, but what do you think about the rumoured re-signing of Vaughan? I can tell you it is not rumoured. It is confirmed. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean Gazaniga is not your 4.4 that you were going no, for? No, it's, it's absolutely no concern about that. Gazaniga's goalkeeper. Do you remember what I told you about Alfie Whiteman and Brandon Austin a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, you said they were not ready because uh, they're little kids. The words I used were they would be absolutely out of their depth. Mm. So, uh, Michelle Vaughan, um, to be honest, uh, Spurs made, made a rick. I assumed when they let Vaughan go, they was going to do what a lot of other clubs have done and buy a young English goalkeeper yeah. as third choice. Didn't happen. Um, Brandon Austin actually will probably be the better goalkeeper than Alfie Whiteman. He's a really good talker. I've seen him at a few youth games and he, he really is vocal. Just needs to improve uh, things like this. <laughs> if I can be honest, yeah. But he's decent, decent kid. Oh. Good shot stopper. He'll be the better one of the two, but he's not built out to be a, a Premier League goalkeeper yet. Um, it'll be too much for Whiteman. So getting Vaughan in makes complete sense. And yes, Gazaniga 100% is going to be form, first choice. Jeff oh, wants to nice know why features. you've got no Lineker, Gaza, or Klinsman in your uh, top Spurs. Um, yeah, I'll have to take out Berbatov, get Gascoigne in there. That's fair. Gaza. Yeah. Gascoigne was my first season, was 1991. So I only had the one season of, of Gascoigne. Um, Lineker was the most incredible goal scoring poacher. He had no ability. He had nothing else going for him. He's the right place, right time. Put him in the box, mate. He wouldn't miss. So deadly. His movement, man, what fucking some of these footballers could learn now just watching the yeah. movement. It's incredible. You can right hear him the right when, when him and Ian Wright are a match of the day, you can see the pair of them getting both really annoyed about players' lack of movement. They yeah. talk about it all the time. Lineker was the king of it. He could just smell a chance all the time. Um, oh, come on. No, Klinsman a difficult one. Um, there's other Spurs strikers you could mention in there, like Sheringham, Keane, Defoe. Um, we've had a we've had a few good ones. That Kane and Berbatov would be my two of choice if I had to pick a front two. If I had to pick one, honestly, I think you, you, Kane from 2017 was the best striker on the planet. I'm not saying he is now. He was that year. This is paint dry now. Of course it is. It wasn't exactly much better in the first half. Um, at the Blue City asked, what's your opinion? Oh, Christ. I don't know if we should do this. We might have no, nobody left in the stream. All right, go on. What's your opinions on the other UK and Irish national teams? <laughs> Scotland had a good result last night. Yeah, I don't really pay much attention, to be honest with you. I think of them all, pound for pound, Northern Ireland are particularly good. Um, they're actually probably the one that we're giving them the most trouble. I agree. Because they're a proper unit. Uh, Wales have got some good players sprinkled in there, but just like Ramsey and Bale and stuff, they, they're, they're very good players. The Republic have always struggled. Go on, Winksy. Surprised he hasn't started ringing the changes. Ah, that's where he lets himself down. But he's still got it. Force that pass. Still got it. Nah. Um, Ireland's the Republic. Other than obviously the Robbie Keane years, of essentially Robbie's the only good centre forward they've had since the '94 team, and will always struggle for that. And at the moment, they've got a real. You look at them at the weekend. We was. I was watching with, with Tom and the editors tap and sat and watching a bit of Ireland second half. Yeah. You look at that midfield with like Jeff Hendrick, Glenn Whelan, James McLean. Like, fucking hell, mate. I mean, it, great. They, you know, they, they've actually got a real chance of qualifying. Yeah. Let, they me, do. let me tell you, there's only eight teams that, that go out in a group and Ireland will probably be one of them. Oh, and come Matthew, on, that ball Matthew. had to go through. Good tackle. I think Mike done himself there, Barkley, a bit. Turned a bit funny. 
God, Harry, come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Garbage. It's because he was letting the pass. In. He's garbage. <laughs> Shouldn't even be in the England team. Tammy Abraham. Would Tammy Abraham have missed that? No. To be honest, I would have quite be happy if he took Harry Kane off the pitch at this point. Yeah. And got one of those kids off. Um, um, what was we talking about? Oh, Ireland and that. Yeah. Scotland. Wow. Fuck it. What I would say about Ireland, we've talked about lack of forwards. We've obviously got a couple coming through. You'll all know about Connolly now. Yeah. From Brighton. Yeah. yeah. We've had a really good chance towards the end of that Georgia game. There's another one at Spurs, Troy Parrott, who has amazing potential. Bradley. Uh, Wales. We? Wales have got one or two very, very good footballers. But they've also got quite a few players who are coming towards the end of their careers, like Joe Allens and stuff. Mm. So they need a reinvigoration. They're okay up front. So we've got James coming through now to add sort of Bell, Ramsey, and they've got uh, Ben Woodburn as well, who might be a good footballer. The rest of the team's not great. Um, yeah, not not great. They've, Bradley they've Lewis, seen better years. Um, who you'd buy from Brighton if you could buy any one player? I'd buy any one player from Brighton? Mm. I think Lucadia. Buy Montoya. Is right back. You need defenders. I'd buy. A... I don't even know how good defensively Montoya is. To be Lacardia honest. probably. He looks tidy. Are you mad? I'm fucking let him go on loan, mate. Not Lacardia. I'm going mad. You're right. Uh, Trossard. Albeit he's injured, but maybe Connolly's the young, um, young, young up and coming. No, I, yeah, in, in, seri in seriousness, he's probably Trossard. Lose, probably lose stunk. Because you need a centre back. Well, it, it needs changing. I'm not saying he'd immediately get in the Spurs team, excuse me. He's the sort of player I think Spurs will be looking at next summer. He needs to take a step up now, really, doesn't he? Lewis Dunk. The problem is you don't really know if that's going to be good enough. You, you know, don't, but he's got when, to try. When, when, yeah, yeah, but when you buy yeah, a Harry player... Harry Maguire's gone up to Leicester and then now up to Manchester United and he is good enough. There's no reason Lewis Dunk couldn't follow. In is he good enough? Or is he in this team by default? Who, Harry Maguire? Yeah. He's... Good enough. I think he's good enough to be at United. What I mean by that is he wouldn't go back to that 2014 with like, obviously Rio Ferdinand was suspended. We had Rio, Terry, him who shan't be named, Ledley King. He ain't better than any of them four. No, he's not. That's all I mean by that. Come on. Barkley's looking desperate for a hat trick, I think. This is dull. It's not. They're playing all right, mate. You're being really fucking harsh. Yeah, can only play I, was too honest, I just want to go home. All right, go home then. Get some rest. It's been a busy uh, old week. Arkham El Hussein said, Love the pod. Glad to have found someone as obsessed with KDB as I am, Such, Is it worth wildcarding primarily to bring him back in? Chancer reckons that Lewis Dunk would be Michael Dawson 2.0. Sorry, back to your question. You might be right, Dan, but I did love Dawes. 70% at the moment. Um, you know what I said? No. Question. You didn't know where, did you? No, I was reading. Uh, Akram El Hussein said, Love the pod. Glad to have found someone as obsessed with KDB as I am, Such. Ha. Is it worth wildcarding primarily to bring him back in? No, you don't make it. You don't wildcard to get one player in. No. If you can't move, if you can't get to KDB, and it's not like he's 12 million Sterling Salah or Aguero, he's 10. So if you can't get to him in two moves and you really want him that badly, then there's something particularly wrong with the way your team is set up. FPL Kiwi Nick, kind of uh, an elaboration on the people's poll pod earlier. Wilson or, oh, ba Wilson or Bardi? Um... Vardy. Vardy, but then there's a good price difference between them. So, yeah, Vardy, especially if you're looking now until Christmas. Adam35, who is on the stream? Adam, I already plugged your article. Yeah, yeah. Your bum bar, rewind it. <laughs> um, something to do with the, the death of the number 10. He wants to know what the best club Southgate would manage in the league. Well, who would suit him most? Yeah. That's a good question. I suppose at the moment, Chelsea. Mm. With all the youth in the team, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you could do a job at your place. I think yeah. you could do a job at Arsenal. Uh, I don't think we'd know, would we? 
Would he take the United job? Uh, Would he get him? I mean, I've heard him mentioned around Spurs if Pochettino was to go. Yeah, would you be happy with that? You've got to be happy with that. He's 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 a he's a cerebral manager. He's using his brain. Watch this goal, Sterling. Great finish. Wonder, I wonder whose pass that was. Kane's performance is going to be all over Twitter, as in the FPL community, in terms of what they're seeing here of him. Yeah, I mean, everyone's going on about uh, depth and stuff. He's played well, Harry Kane. He's played well. There's no denying that. All around control. He doesn't. He doesn't make that pass two years ago. I don't think. Shot. It's brilliant from Sterling as well. It's a great finish. Mm. Brilliant first touch. This is a team that everyone was giving so much shit four days ago. That's the one, mate. Yeah. There's nothing. It's mad. Uh, someone was saying Yarmolenko scored today for Ukraine as well. Chance of the sense. So, uh, less day Yarmolenko or Anderson, mate, go with uh, Yarmolenko, he's cheaper. But if you want my real advice, go with John McGinn, cheaper than all of them and better. Bad runner fixtures for Villa, mate. Yeah, still Mason Mount. I think he's had a bit of a haircut, a bit of a fade. Pit for fade, eh? Uh, Pot of England off the South Gate. That's a shout out. Yeah. Adam 350, I've only just finished and eating, hence why I've only just started in the chat. Fair play. No problem. You fucking eating to, for an hour, blood. You don't need to justify your uh, eating yeah, you habits do. and uh, lack of yeah, chatting you habits. With he us. told me, he messaged me after the last one, after Southampton oh, Bournemouth, okay. and he said, uh, you got to let me know so I can make an appointment with you. Oh, okay, okay, that, okay, okay. So he's missed his appointment, hasn't he? Mm. You wouldn't be an hour late for the dentist, would you? You wouldn't get your teeth. Adam, you'll have seen on Twitter that on the 13th of December, there's the, the meet-up. Are you coming? Yeah, you'll in the live chat. Yeah, he's got nothing better to do. Now, man, this guy's in demand now these days. Well, that's two podcasts. I mean, if it was three or four podcasts, Good night, guys. he's got to be there. Right? Good night, Chris. Good night, Chris. Yes, he's up late where he he's is. He's knackered. Tell me about it. Me too. I'm being a bit of a wuss today. Ooh. Yeah, live enough. When, when are we actually going to get this podcast out? Well? I have no idea. Um, there's quite a bit of work that he's doing on it. I'll probably do a little bit on it tonight and see where we get to. Although it's Mad Child is on the case. Tomorrow night, Planet FBL, who got the assist? Yeah. As quickly as did, we humanly did we, can. Uh, did we enjoy it? Did we enjoy what? Recording it. I did. Yeah, we did. We did. Let's not talk about it too much. Let's All drop right. it All right. and then we'll talk about it. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> You're right there, pal. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> FFI test wants to know how you coped with the Invincibles winning the league in 2004 because he's trying to mentally prepare himself for Liverpool doing the same this year. Oh! It's a bad touch that time, so. Shoot! Yeah. How did you cope with it? You were probably, what, 10 at the time? Uh, Give or take? 10 or 11? To be honest, it's not too difficult. It would be worse for him as an Everton fan because they'd won the league a couple of years earlier. They did a double four years before. That was the worst one. When they won it in 98, it was worse yeah. than 2004 because it, like, it come from nowhere. They obviously had an amazing end of the season. And it was like, it wasn't just that they steamrolled at the end. They steamrolled it and were playing amazing football. Out of nowhere, overnight, they changed yeah. to this incredible team. So that was actually 98 was more difficult to deal with. 2004, we could see it coming all the way. It got to about February and you were like, they ain't losing. Yeah. It's just not happening. Because the quality in that league is not to take, I've said this before, not to take anything away from that achievement. The quality in that league that year was fucking turgid. It was, United weren't a lot better that season than what they are now. Mm. 
They obviously had individual incredible players. But that season was probably Ferguson's weakest United, I would say. Um, Abhishek, so you knew coming. Abhishek, first time, a new, not well, first time, listen, new to the pod. And he wants to know who is he who shall not be named? I'll give you a few clues, Abhishek. And if you get the name in, just whack it into the live stream. Central defender, played for Spurs, defected to Arsenal. Um, and uh, left a very bitter taste in James's mouth. What year did he leave? I think he left in a few other things in his mouth as well. So I uh, proper uh, what? Two thousand two. When did he leave? Uh, two thousand two. Two thousand one. Two thousand and one. Everybody's uh, happy about uh, Raheem Sterling being taken off <laughs> in time for the weekend. Your boy still playing? Is it Sancho? Oh oh oh! Drag it back! Ah, oh, come on! Better ball, please. Got to be better than that. Iliev. That guy's got good hair, though. Sterling is old. Sure. Oh, sorry. It's not Empty. open anyway. Yeah, no, it's not. Ah, uh, not open yet. Whack it. Go on, Pickford. Some kick on him, isn't it? Ooh, left that a bit loose. Who else coming on? 21. I wonder if they try and give Fred tomorrow a few minutes, because technically he qualifies for Nigeria as well, doesn't he, until he plays, I think. Yeah. I think it's Nigeria. Yeah, it is. It is indeed. Ross Barkley qualified for Nigeria as well. A funny one, isn't it? Oh, nice, Mason Mount. Oh, calm down, pal. Over here. Just to set himself. Oof. Keeper. Had a fucking nightmare. Keeper. Callum Wilson, get in there, son. Yeah. Get yourself injured before let's, I catch uh, you. I was going to say, let's let's see him get injured. Yeah. Now. Let's see what you and Cannon are going to do about this Saturday if he gets injured. Molino. Yeah, there were a lot of offs. They always seem to have a Wonderson as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same guy who's been in their team for 20 years. Always pick up your Brazilian. <clears throat> What's being said, Suchi boy? Uh, Abhishek says that uh, apparently Sol ran for mayor, was going to run for mayor of London in 2016. Yes, there was a rumour. Or intended to. There, that was rumour, Jeff. Is Abraham captainable now? Abraham is definitely captainable yeah. now, FPL nerd. Yeah, I highly uh, recommend listening to the pod earlier. Abraham and Wilson are both captainable this weekend. Kind of space. Exploit it. Good teams will clinically exploit that. Wilson off the left. Jesus. You better just putting Harry out there. And just I do like see um, the last ten minutes. I do like Ben Shiller. Why is he left Kane on for the uh, ninety? He's fucking captain. Man. Probably could yeah, be well, fucking. Well. They just pass the armband on to someone else. Yeah, that managers get Kane Iters, don't they? Can't take them off and all that shit. Well, when you're five nil up with 24 minutes, uh, 14 minutes to go. I don't know. It's strange, eh? You'd think best player, give him a break, take him off. Have a look at Wilson up front. Look what Wilson's playing. What's the fucking point? Mm. Alex wants to know if Manchild's gay. Well, firstly, I'm not sure he, he can identify whatever he wants to, can he? He can, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Exactly. Um, but he's straight, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Piers, Piers Morgan on Twitter trying to identify as a penguin at the moment? He's a um, fucking idiot. He's a fucking bad end of her final angle. Yeah. Ooh, Ted. 
you were cussing out Barkley, but you're wishing he would get that kick now. Feel bad now, yeah. Feel bad, Ted. Adam three five who best beer to drink during a football match? Always a Guinness for me. The fuck? Really? I'm conf- that's that's not why I picked. You're, I, you're, I you're to, like uh, a 21 year old young man. I drunk great. Well. I, 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 I drunk Guinness a lot. 19 to 21. That's did the you? worst thing I ever fucking did. I literally woke up at 22 and went out of fuck did that happen? I can't see my cock anymore. Mm. If anyone's seen it, they let me know. Oh, got it foul. <laughs> yeah, all right, calm down. I think 5-0. It's going to stay 5-0 now. Uh, maybe 6. At some point, the Bulgarians will lose concentration as whether or not we keep it enough to score. Piers Morgan's dad is a Spurs fan. Really? Because he's a diehard gooner. Who said what? Dan Chancellor's telling me Piers Morgan's old man yeah. is a Spurs fan. Is that right? Mm. That goes down well. He must be fucking really embarrassed in the sun. Yeah. What do you think about a King Wilson FPL double up? Uh, we asked that for Brian at Blades Attack. It's an interesting one. Asking that partly as a Pookie versus King argument. I mean, I think King's better value than Barnes or Wood, if if that's anything to help you make your decision in any way. I just don't really know where I stand with that on Josh King because um, I think you'd play him if you had six point three. You'd play him week in week out. I don't think you'd be happy to bench him. Oh no, you ain't benching no one at, at that fucking value. So um, then I'm blessed with Bournemouth for scoring any game, even like City away and that you play the asset. Oh, come on. This shit. Um, I, I just don't really know how that's going to work out for Bournemouth in the in the short term with uh, Fraser presumably he's going to get back in that team. Who for? Probably doesn't. Why, shouldn't be why are you so sure Fraser's going to get back in that team? It's well, working right now. No, okay. Is it? They were a bit flat at Arsenal. Yeah. That whole game was a bit flat. Everyone leave him. Um, and the chant is, why the fuck are you still here? Um, does Solanke stay in the team? Harry Wilson? I've not been overly impressed with Harry Wilson so far. I thought he's doing right. Straw, wasn't it? That's why I said it's hard to get up for these. There's space again. Oh, so space in the middle of the Oh. <laughs> Fuck you now, Harry. He ain't going to score tonight. Oh. He's saving them all for that armband on Saturday, mate. Gareth's leaving. Checking Good night, out. Gareth. Ciao, pal. Thank you for joining us. Captain Pick. Charles and Lundstrom Hall against Arsenal. First sub. Come again, what? Will, Will Lundstrom Hall. Uh, Sheffield United will win 1-0 Monday night. I wouldn't even bother watching it. <laughs> I've been saying this for two months. I'm not going to I'm not going to be captain at Bamiyang. I'll tell you that. It's too risky. We're actually going to have to record before the game again. Oh, are we? 
Yeah. Oh, because you got international. Uh, not international. Champions. Champions. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Good, Callum Wilson. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking let's call it off now. Are we gonna do that? We've done it now. We're going. Yeah. Excuse me. I just looked through my timeline a bit, and it's probably it's come off worse. And like I said, we've got the volume on really quiet. Um. It, it, it sounds like it's been a lot worse than probably what we realised. So, Earlier in the game you're in? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it must have stopped now. I assume so. Yeah. But um, good on them for making this time. Just following the rules, right? And we have rules. Well, now, England have kind of. Uh, I was a bit critical in the first half saying they kind of opened it up for this to happen in the first place. Well, Go on, Harry. Come on, boy. Yes. Oh. Fucking no chance. Of <laughs> <laughs> he good knows, finish. mate. He knows. Good finish. I was just thinking when was the last time he got six that <laughs> fucking last summer, wasn't it? He's got to be the man of the match tonight, Harry Kane. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All round game. Spin on it. Nuts. Good finish. He's great on his left pen. Good finish. I feel like he made sure he hit the target with that one. I mean, keeper was just not on it. I mean, he just slid it in nicely. Very good goal. Yeah, very good goal. Kane captain of the weekend is happening for this guy. Yeah, it will be. Then I'm selling them. Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at the men over. Jesus. Oh, Christ. Like Who's dead? Proper rubbish, Bulgaria. Someone's gone down like they've been shot. Oh, Sancho. Sancho. Impact injury, I think. So we're 25 short, Harry Kane. More than halfway of break, breaking Rooney's record. Capable, do you think? Mm. <laughs> Capable, no doubt. Whether or not he will, I'd say is a real 50-50. It's only a game against San Marino every year, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> For the next seven, eight years. Or yeah, so. that's true. I don't know. It's going to be tight. I mean, that, that just goes to show how mental Rudy's record is. I think the thing is, on the series with Harry, that I would have taken him off earlier tonight anyway. And again, yeah. that's probably kind of Tottenham thinking as well. Of course. But if, if, you, if you honestly believe that, like, at the moment, that Abraham... Or Wilson should be in the team, this team ahead of him. Or you think Spurs are a better team without Kane? You're off your head, honestly. You may, I just, I, I'll be honest. I think you don't understand football. No, but you can have a bad game. That's the thing. Of course. And I've told you, he's um, he's having he's having more bad. It's changing. Games. It's changing. It's changing. Evolution. In the same way that Shearer did. And he's doing it in a different way. But Shearer just went very much back to goal. Look at some of the through balls this fella's playing tonight, mate. And actually, him dropping, particularly even more so for England than Spurs, he makes up for a lack of uh, a creative, as we'll find out from Adam in his article, uh, the death of the number 10. It just don't exist anymore. But most of most good teams have... Say like Mount, this is not a criticism of Mount, he's a kid and he's got great attributes. He doesn't look to me like he's going to be um, a creative 
I can run the game in the way, say, like a Modric. I'm, that's an awful comparison because <laughs> Modric is so good. But like um, Ericsson, and then, yeah, Ericsson, someone like that. Uh, Coutinho, maybe Coutinho, a bit more of a dribbler, but someone who, in that kind of left of a free or right of a free, who can do real damage. And admittedly, it's only really De Bruyne, probably. Like Liverpool don't have that player. No, I mean it's the type of player that Lallana would want to be. Could say or like, would want to be like Sabio showed that one game against Burnley. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. He's going to be a baller, Sabahis. And until Foden breaks in the team, mm-hmm. England aren't going to have that player. Jack Wilshere was meant to be that player, by the way. Yeah. Okay, England. Long ball motions. Look how far he's kicked that thing. Oh. And got. Yeah, that's a hell of a kick. <laughs> That is a hell of a kick. Good stream, lads. Good night from FPL Nerd. Good night to you as Cheers, well. Cheers, thank you. Mm. Can't see how many people are actually on the stream because mine's uh, on here just stuck at 24. Just been stuck the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh-huh. Might check on my phone, might give me better stats. It's a stupid iPad. It's quite old. Six years old. I think old. as uh, we run into injury time, we are probably. Closing down. Yep. Shall we say? I think England might have won. Fifty-nine uh, people still on the old. No one wants to. Night, fellas. Yeah. Dan. Yeah. Good night, Dan. Um, yeah. For those who joined late, the, the chat was was lively in the first half. <laughs> um, back tomorrow. Hopefully, touch wood. Manchild's gonna have to work some magic, but hopefully, we'll post this pod with who got the assist. Uh, Wednesday, we'll do some stuff for the Sky game. Thursday, we've got Ted, Rotation, FPL, Sai, FPL underscore footballer. We're talking Chelsea, Newcastle, ahead of their game on Saturday. Uh, Friday, we'll go through final plan. Hopefully, no injuries. We might not have Kevin De Bruyne's fit. We might make a definitive decision on that. Uh, uh, me and you are probably more uh, decisive on captaincy than others, I think. Yeah. Like, this weekend. It's Wilson. The ball. Oh, come on. you got to finish that, man. Fucking chances we've missed. Could have been 10. Someone tell me quick, what's England's XG? Ha. Huh. Is the question pod coming to YouTube? It is. It is. Our uh, editor was off sick today, John, sadly. So um, hopefully tomorrow he'll be in. Yeah, there might be a, a stream excuse the pun, of YouTube videos going Just up together. At the same time, I yeah. think that unfortunately might be what happened. These things happen when we keep doing lots of shit in a row. Seven shows a week. Yeah. yeah. And it's only like two of us and two of them. And the YouTubers, the guys, if you're not sure, like the full version podcasts, even if they don't need touching up at all or anything, they take a fucking age to upload. Like anything more than half hour, that's why we try and cut the short pods at half hour, basically. Yeah, it's Manchild's fault. Anything more than half hour. to record everything takes, in 4K HD. It takes... Well, I don't know why with this face, but... He reckons we look prettier. Yeah. Well, we all look uh, pretty next to him, don't we? That's true. <laughs> Hit the space, Callum. There you go. Oh. Hold his wrong ball. He's hitting that. Oh, oh come Mate, on. forget forget what is England's XG in this game. What is Kane's XA in this game? Come oh my lord! On. Well played, That's England. It. Enjoyable. You made it as good as it could be. I think. To you all, we love you. Thank you so much for joining Cheers. us on this live stream. I hope you've enjoyed the game as good well. Good night, guys. Um, stay tuned. Hit the notification bell and subscribe and all that. Southgate, you're the one. Football's coming home again. Peace. I'm going home. Peace out. Loads of love. Stop the live stream before we do.